Welcome to the screencast for installing SageFrame 2.0, a comprehensive .NET CMS to your local host. SageFrame is a highly extensible open source CMS that provides you with all the essential tools required for building custom modules, applications, templates through which you can build multi-purpose websites with much ease and convenience. Firstly, in order to deploy SageFrame to your local host, you need to fulfill minimum system requirements which are as Internet Information Service, SQL Server 2005 or 2008, and Microsoft.NET Framework 3.5 or above. Before we get started, make sure to have SaceFrame 2.0 installation files downloaded from saceframe.codeplex.com. Here you can find both the source version and Insta version for SaceFrame releases. And you need to place the downloaded files to any of your local drive. Uh, this will be the folder where all your local files will be set. For instance, I have created a folder as SaceFrame version 2 in my D drive. You need to extract the SageFrame install or source version that you have downloaded earlier. Eventually, you must also change the access permission of your folder. The Windows account that is used to access your site must have full access permission over your SageFrame root folder. For that, right-click on the root folder of your site under Properties. Click on the Security tab, Edit, Add, Advanced. And finally, on Find Now, while holding the control key, you need to make sure to select IAS Users and Network Service and click OK. Give full access permission to both these folders. Lastly, we have to create a new application to IAS. For this, open your Internet Information Services Manager, right-click on Default Website, click on Add Application, and enter an alias name. Locate the physical path to the directory you have placed your files in. Right click on the application that you have just created, select manage application and browse it on your favorite wizard to complete the installation. Unlike our previous version, SageFrame 2.0 has a single page install. Now you need to configure the database connection with the necessary credentials. For that, enter the server name or the IP address of the server where the database is located. Click on the Integrate Security checkbox only if the access to the server is in Windows Authentication mode. Here you are required to enter the database name. However, we are going to leave this field unchecked. Enter the user ID and password. On the database name section, if you do not have an existing database, then you can click on Create New Database radio button and put in the database name. However, I already have an uh, existing database, so I'm, I'm going to select existing database and put in the database name. Next up, you can choose from the available templates to use. Click on Test Configuration button to check test permissions and database connection. Once test permissions and database connection has been successfully passed, click on Install SageFrame button to run the script. This should only take a few seconds of your time. Congratulations, you just installed your very first SageFrame CMS website. You can now log into SageFrame as an administrator or a super user. The password for both the user roles is same as their username. You can access the user manuals for SageFrame 2.0 from our official website or if you encounter with any problem using SageFrame then make sure to contact our support team on support at sageframe.com. Thanks for watching and enjoy using SageFrame.